Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at repairing, fixing an error code called 0XC00007B. And nothing says let me help you Microsoft like program won't run because of 0XC00007B. So let's fix you up. Odds are if you got here you've probably seen a lot of questions and answers around the internet and odds are your problem is actually the dot net framework it's not installed or maybe your versions are wrong or maybe you have multiple versions so we're gonna spend most of our time on this video on how to fix that we'll give you a couple other possibilities but odds are it's the dotnet framework so either hit start run if available or click your Windows key plus s at the same time and type in reg edit and hit enter or click on right there and I already have it expanded but so let me back some of this up so it's not too confusing if you're not used to using the registry you'll hear people say all the time if you don't know what you're doing don't mess with the registry well guess what we're not messing with it we're just gonna take a look and see if you've got .NET Framework installed so we'll go to H key local machine click the arrow software again click the arrow so now that you're down to software let's get down to Microsoft scroll on down to net framework setup there she is click and you're looking for finally NDP once that's expanded as you can see we have 4.0 installed so at least we have dot net framework installed so could that be my problem probably since it's a 4.6.2 you're out of date so you're gonna to want to click right there right there right there right there download it run it reboot see if your problem went away and if all goes well under two minutes we fixed your problem if we haven't come on back here to the video at the two minute mark and we'll take a look at a couple other possibilities because we think it's not dotnet framework is the problem with this error message there's a couple of files on major geeks I will provide a link to one of them is called the Microsoft dotnet framework repair tool it's from Microsoft it's worth a shot it may fix any problem so once you realize you have 4.6.2 then running that tool might fix the problem if not we might consider uninstalling all of the versions of dotnet framework and reinstalling dotnet framework now you can do that through obviously your control panel uh, and, and add remove programs or whatever they call it nowadays uh, it's under blah, 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 apps and you can try and find it under here but if you can't find it, it becomes kind of difficult they like to bury some of this stuff let's take a look Microsoft's visual it must have been I probably clean install Windows probably the version that came with Windows that's not even in here to remove that is also C++ we'll get to that that could be your other problem later if this isn't working for you so essentially what you do is you can download this dotnet framework cleanup tool and you could uninstall everything but the 4.6.2 or uninstall everything and clean install and that might get you there worth mentioning at this point as well is as we're talking about reinstalling that could be something that is in a similar vein and that is if the program isn't working you don't have a lot of stuff set up in the game save games or whatever you're having your problem with you can reinstall the program and see if it works but again focus on the dotnet framework and make sure you're okay on that first before you do anything else because that should fix your problem if not you may consider visual blah 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 C plus plus major geeks that could be a possibility you might want to grab this Microsoft Visual C plus plus redistributable package and download it and see if that helps you um, DirectX is again another possibility so odds are you're up to date right now so I don't think it'll help you but let's cover all the bases uh, major geeks boom there it is download it and there it takes care of that so the good news here is hopefully your problem is solved the bad news is if you're still watching and have the problem uh oh just kidding there's always a couple other things you could do you might want to consider updating your drivers again we're, we're, we're just swinging at the fence at this point because it should have been dot net so um, there's quite a few programs to update your drivers the nice thing is these driver programs will update all your drivers so let's go with driver booster oh look at that it's literally learning me now driver booster major geeks so download that that'll update your drivers the nice thing about that is of course a lot of these errors are related to gaming so you should be up to date so a lot of you can probably skip this but your motherboard drivers 
have to work with your sound card drivers, have to work with your video drivers. Everything's got to work together. So your drivers all have to be up to date, not just your video drivers. So give that a shot. That could help. And I'll try and provide all these links. So the other thing is you can try and run it as administrator. If you're not a geek, you're going to need to know where the program is installed, probably under program files, program files x86. It gets more complicated sometimes if it's under Steam, so you may need to Google for where the program is. But I'm using Process Threads View from Nearsoft, and the reason being it's a portable app, it's easy to find. So by right clicking, I can just run it as an administrator, and that is that. And we're going to cover a little more running as administrator here in a minute if that didn't work for you because we got a couple more ideas. So once again, right click on process thread views, go to properties. Under the properties, if you're trying to run an older program and then you've done all the Microsoft.NET framework fix, you may have to go into compatibility mode. So what you want to do is check this box, which will let you choose what to run it under and see how old the program or game is you're trying to run and check your box or the website or Google it and see how old it is and try and line your operating system up so if it's you know not too far back it might be eight if it's an older older program you're going back to seven or Vista and pick one of those such as that click apply click OK and now it'll automatically do that for you and finally let's consider checking the hard drive for errors um, after this, I'm out of ideas and the video got real. Ooh, a Tesla just went by. Nice car. Let's go back to the Windows S key and let's kick on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see here. Oh, CMD. So we want to get the command prompt going. But in order to do the check your disk, you need to right click on this as we were showing you earlier and run it as administrator. Now we're going to want to run check disk, but when you do this, it's going to give you an error because the drive is in use. It's going to ask you to reboot. So just to give you a little heads up. So we got to type in, let's see, chk dsk space c colon. Make sure c is your operating system drive. It probably is. It has program files, windows, most drives, c are the main drive. So we got the c colon. Let's get a little space. Do we need a space in there? I don't know. Yeah, let's put a space in there. I don't think it made it matter any. F forward slash R. So again, CHK, DSK, space, C colon space, forward slash F, forward slash R. Hit enter. You see it says it's locked. So it asks you if you'd like to run it on the next reboot. You can click yes here and reboot or panic and click N for no. There you go. And when it comes back, once again, depending on where you're at, make sure that net's up, dot net's up to date. That should fix your problem in a perfect world. And take a minute, please, and click subscribe if we helped you. Spread the word. Thanks for watching. See you next time.